Oh, he's done. 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 He's Welcome guys to the STA Belen 2023 Punishment uh, Hot Ones Edition. Here with our league champion, our three time champion now, Sway, and our uh, first time participant and loser of this year with a four in 10 record, Falk. Uh, it, it was a great year for both of these guys, Sway. As I said, three time champ, he uh, led by T Higgins, a couple other guys. And Falk here lost eight of his last nine, started off great his first ever season of fantasy football. He beat champion Sway in the regular season, but now he's a uh, punishment. So this year, champion Sway here gets to ask our loser Falk eight questions while eating eight hot one wings. So Suedo here gets to pick eight wings of whatever choice he has. He chose teriyaki. He's gonna be enjoying his meal. Falco, on the other hand, probably be suffering going through a series of wings that we have from, it'll start off okay, and as it ramps up, it's gonna get hot. So let's go. Let's get hot. So here we have our wings. Here we our go. Our champion, our loser, they're labeled one through six. We'll bring out the two more spiciest wings later on in the show, um, seven and eight. But for now, we're gonna let our champion conduct his interview. He can do however he wants, and he has the floor. Gentlemen, have some fun. Foul, good luck. Congratulations again, Mr. Sway, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Kamish. Before we begin, what's your experience like with heat and do you like drums or <laughs> I like this <laughs> What's your experience like with heat and spices and in terms of wings, are you a drumstick guy or are you a traditional traditional wing guy? I'm a drumstick guy and I really like heat. I always eat sriracha and whatever else I find in the supermarket almost in every meal. And I always try to push the limit, so I'm excited. Let's do it. All right, so first one. So first question, we're gonna start off with some classic teriyaki wings. This is the only wing that we were both gonna eat the same flavor. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Conversation. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's getting messy already. So first question. Ever since you entered the beautiful country of America in the year of 2014, You've slowly been introduced into the American culture. From golfing, to tailgating, to buying your first pair of Reeboks, to playing in your first fancy football league, how does it feel to be fully integrated into the American culture? It's fun. I mean, fancy football is one of the things I've been wanting to do since I got to the US. You guys didn't let me in the league for like seven years, so I finally made it. Like for example, eating wins was something that I didn't do before. So I actually, since I moved officially, I try to do new things. And fantasy football is great. Hopefully next year I do better and I'm sitting in the other side of the table. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. The next wing flavor is the classic hot sauce. This is from... This is, yeah, this is, we got three hot sauces from the hot ones. This is one of them. Yeah, do it. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. Fantasy football comes with a lot of growing pains, and it is evident that you had a historically atrocious season. What is something you wish you knew before entering fantasy football? And how will you better prepare for the upcoming 2023 STA Belen Fantasy Football League? So I wouldn't say atrocious, because I beat you. Start off by that. First of all, you're atrocious. <laughs> I actually do want to do a video about tips for the first time in fantasy football and realistic tips is one, set a calendar reminder because it will often happen that I'll go out on a Saturday and then I'll wake up too late on Sunday after the kickoff and I'll have a text from Victor being like, you missed your lineup, so that sucks. I'm a huge fan of Tomas Brady and I drafted him, but maybe that wasn't the best idea. And also Cam Akers, f you, because he caught me my entire season and I drafted him number three. So just do more research before. So that's it, that's that. What are some tips you will give me, Suedo? I think you're f***ing regardless, bro. 
Come on, man. So the third wing is the medium style wing from Hooters. Sponsor of today's video. Sponsor of today's video. Okay. Cheers, folks. Cheers. Are you scared that when we cheer, you're gonna get some hot sauce in your teriyaki wings? No. Mm -hmm. No, it's kicking up. Bro, medium wing. That's still good. It is kicking up. You've been introduced to many professional football athletes throughout this first fantasy football season. Rank your top three favorite players. I'm gonna guess Ken Akers is one of them. Can I can I name three of them? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like Tom Brady. All jokes aside, because I really like he was pushing the boundaries. <clears throat> Excuse me of the human limits, because he was old, he was still winning Super Bowls. So Tom, Tom Brady, number one. He also pushes boundaries with his kids. Yes, I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think I'm gonna go water. I think I'm gonna water for the first Already? time. Already? Yeah, I think I would. Confirmed, water. The second one, I like Mike Evans, who I also had in my season, which by the way, because you remember all the games, that time that someone pushed Brady and then Mike Evans came and like guarded him and pushed the guy back and he got, ex uh, he got kicked out and suspended for the next game, that destroyed my next game and I lost. So it was also because of Mike Evans. I like you, but careful, no more pushing. You have to defend the goal. Three, I would say that I like... All the players that I like are retired. So, I guess... From Dolphins players? I don't know any Dolphins players. Sure. This is probably the issue why I lost. You see? Um, right there. Dude, I really don't know. What are some other what's the name of the quarterback with the Buffalo? No, I don't like him. Josh Allen. No, I don't like I don't like Allen. Like I like Whittle. I like well, Waddle. Waddle is cool. Waddle's cool. Definitely not. <laughs> Whittle. Whittle. Give us the penalty. I saw Mbappe do that live, actually. Because he liked it. This is about football. I think that the next wing is sriracha flavor. This is from Hooters as well, correct? I think. No, no this is not. Oh, so this is this is a homemade sauce. Right no, you just bought it from oh, the supermarket. Oh, the Normal sriracha. Oh, oh. But but the sauce is homemade. Gotcha. Dude, I'm not giving you an eaten one already. Let's see if I have this one. Feel it now. It is really good. Mm. Dude, I forgot to take my stomach reflux medicine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's in my in my bag. Wait, what do you think it's like On the side. Not gonna use a waste pop and pills real quick. Oh, yeah. Right. Next question. It's a good angle, so you look handsome from the side. Alright. So I'm gonna guess. It's just a guess. Okay. That in your 23 years of life, there have been a few hangovers after a night out. <clears throat> is correct or incorrect? I would dare to say yes. All right. So, what is your go-to hangover cure routine? What's the what's the move every time you're hungover? So, you wake up. Well, first of all, it's before you go to bed. If you can eat, drink some water, that helps. First of the go-to, direct, first thing I do, Gatorade. Boom, with ice. The red one. Maybe orange, maybe orange. Then, a shower is good. Then food, a lot of food. You gotta stay consistent with the food. And then if I can, and this is where it gets weird, I try to go for a run in the afternoon. But primarily it's food, something with electrolytes, like a banana or a PB and jelly, and Gatorade. Wait, where do you get electrolytes from PB and jelly? No, from the banana. Oh, can I ask a follow-up question about that? Yeah. And maybe so we can paraphrase it out there and say it. Are hot wings good for hangovers? So, dude, what? <laughs> the next wing is the verde sauce. Yeah, from hot ones. Salsa verde. Now we're getting to it. And this is from hot ones as well. Cheers. Cheers. Here you go, boys. Dude, the teriyaki wings are huge. What number is that? It's all downhill from here. So this is where I would say the question starts to get hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. It gets spicy. We all know that. <laughs> you have two groups of friends that you consider to be familia. Fracaso FC 
the Latino friends. The Latino friends, even though we're Latino too, it's right. super <laughs> <laughs> Or the six by six. So, who do you enjoy your time with more? Fracaso Football Club or six by six? I say at the moment, since a greater percentage of Fracaso FC is single, I will say Fracaso FC. Um, because you're whipped, so that's how it. Fire. Nice. So. Not foul. Wait, go back at it. You didn't have to say that. You gotta be single. The next wing is the 911 from this, Hooters. This where it, yeah, this wing gets hot. Let's do it. By the way, this wing, Sway, in honor of Sedge in the song 911. 911. So, do you like it? In honor of 911. This shit gets sloppy, bro. Any teriyakis? Oh, yeah, it's a good bite. I feel like you're gonna have a, an after kick. Question number six, Falk. No milk yet. You're on death row, and you can have dinner with three people. Who are they, and what are you guys gonna eat? Dead or alive? Either. Okay, so, Matthew McConaughey, because my favorite book. Green Lights. Green Lights. Have you finished it? No. There you go. Like page 20. There you go. Had it for since the beginning of the year. Um, Sam Walton, found at Walmart, if you didn't know. And then, he said this already. I will bring one of the boys to the dinner. So, <laughs> who's that? Which one? Probably Barney, because I know he knows the two people. No, not Barney. I'll bring my dad to the dinner. I'll bring my dad, so he can enjoy the experience as well. That's good. Yeah, because Barney hasn't read Sam Walton's book, so there's that. What am I eating? I will eat arepas, because I feel like Matthew McConaughey and Sam Walton haven't had arepas, so we we'll just make arepas. Fire. If you had to give your fantasy football season a title, like a book, what would it be? <laughs> I will call it The Rookie Loser Being Down Before the Peak. <laughs> I don't think that's how I meant the question. <laughs> yeah, the title of the book. <laughs> the Rookie Loser. I thought it was going to be like an existing book. I thought, I thought, no, 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 no. That's, that's what I meant. That's funny. All right, so now we have the last two wings brought to us. <laughs> but so, so, I'm back. Here we have a little change. The seventh and eighth wing. This is the, ah, like whatever, yeah. Oh, it's warm. Nice, thank you. Our lovely commissioner, Victor, just dropped off some wings. And the first one is a 911 plus sriracha. Custom homemade in the roads. So this segment is brought to you by Mamitas. And it is called, explain that pick. So I'll show you a picture and you tell us the bigger story. Sounds okay. good? Yeah. All right. Cheers and you can pull it up while I do it. Oops. Let's do this. All right, sorry to hit me, bro. Let me see. Oh, so there's a picture of my friend Calvo. So Calvo fun fact is about to get married. Congrats. I'm Congrats. not. And uh, we put it we put it through uh, we had a GoPro and we, I was like I feel like this will come out cool and we put it through the like the tree and I was like it's look like if you're looking for it and it came out nice. It's a nice pick. And then like that was the summer that was August 14th, August 16th I moved to the US and then August 18th I started school. And everyone made fun about this picture. So that was nice. So there's a picture of my friends from Caracas. That's Fred, Eddie, Panza, Gabriela, Navela, Caicedo, Guarda, Isabela, and Tulio. I don't think anyone cares. But there's a picture of my friends. And then I couldn't come up with a caption, so I captioned it. Bros. Hashtag squad. Great caption. Sick. What a post, Sick. Man. Sick. Oh, yeah, this is the best. So, I grew a mustache for like three months so I could do a uh, Halloween costume with a stash. And I was about to do Top Gun, but everyone does Top Gun. And then I went for a workout that day, and I was like, bro, Freddie Mercury. And I also had just watched, uh, what's the name of the movie? 
Queen. <laughs> yeah, they, Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody, which by the way, fire movie. So I was like, this is ready. And I think I've never had such a good costume because literally like 10 people stopped me in the street when we were walking through the bar. Like, yo, that's a great costume. It was a great so, yeah. costume. Thank you. You killed it. There's a video? Oh no. I like exactly know this video. No. <laughs> That's, that's more cringe than the video I have of uh, them almost reach a million views. So that was an establishment <laughs> called The White Buffalo in Gainesville, Florida, and you were next to me. It was, I think it was a Saturday after banquet, and I was just having a good time. And you were there too, dancing. But don't ask me what the person behind me was doing, because I don't think that was appropriate. All right, I think I'm ready for the last stop. Right. This is the last one, and because it's the last stop, I'm gonna do the last stop. Do you wanna do the last stop too? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh so. Okay. Oh my god. Oh That's my god. Not good. No, no, no. The no. Nah, 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 nah. Sway, how are you with hot sauce? <laughs> oh. Alright, Sway, let's bring it home. I can smell it. This nah, is. Nah, 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 nah. This is gonna be interesting. Salud. Cheers. To our fantasy football champion loser. Mm-hmm. How is it? How is it? Oh, I think it's coming. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nah, bro, I can't feel it. I can't feel my mouth. <laughs> bro. That's why you gotta ask me the question, you gotta ask me the question. Alright, dog. Fuck. Ask Question number eight. Ah! Can you sing the national anthem for us? Wait, wait, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Oh my god. How are you feeling? Sing the national anthem, let's go. Bro, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. He's making us do everything. He's done his stop. Oh. Sing the national anthem. Sing the national anthem. Fuck, can you sing the national anthem? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> nah, I'm dying. I'm dying too, bro. Come on, Tori. Bro, guys. Miggy, give me a milk. Miggy, give me a milk. Fuck, you ready? Come on, beer. Dude, at the, beginning, at the beginning when I was eating, I was like, oh, that's chilling. <laughs> oh my god. So, guys, you have no idea. Let's go. Guys, every time no I speak, idea. it hurts more. I know you gotta sing. Oh, say can you see by the dark's early light? What's so early in here? Hills was dry. No, no, either? No, I was letting you go. Yes, you do the Like the flag was still there. Stand up the stars, make no better and make Alright, you're good with that, you're good with that. <laughs> that shit hurt, bro. <laughs> how how we doing, guys? Yo, 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 please try that. Please try how we, that. How we doing? They were all good except the last stop. The last stop, the room? Bro, oh, Joey. Whew. Fuck, I won't lie, I tried a little bit of it on the almond. <laughs> <laughs> um, closing thoughts as we finish here our program of our Hot Ones Punishment 2023 STA Belen. Falk, how we doing? Good. Sway, how we doing? Good. Next year. Champ, loser. Next year, we're just gonna do three 
hot, like last dab wins, and that's gonna be the punishment. It's probably gonna be me doing it again, but who cares? This was some great thoughts right there. I want to thank everybody on a great season. Sway, congrats again on a, a hard fought year, first place. Jake, runner up this year, congrats to you. Still haven't won a chip. You gotta get there. Sway, three time champ? Three time champ. Three time champ. Uh, it was a great year. I'm looking forward to next year, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Kamish. Yo, oh, can, I, oh my can God. I say something? Oh my God. Me, bro, I'm not in this league. I don't know these guys. They just, I just found them on the street. Oh my God. Yo, it hits. Cheers, it cheers, hits. cheers, oh, wow. cheers. It hits. It wow, it's pretty good. How's it going, <laughs> Ask us questions. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. God damn. <laughs> Oh my god! That's not that bad. It actually gets worse for a little bit. No, no, it gets worse. It gets worse. What are we talking about? No! <laughs> 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 oh, shit.